previously on Isle of Life. The reunification has happened, I wonder, because Bruce and Noah have returned. And Eccles was up on the tree just a while ago. I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, if they wanted to see something like an ad, it's too late. Die. Because tomorrow, I'm heading to the mainland. Very special, very special. Okay, Islanders, well, I've made a start. So, oh, hi, Islanders, it's the next day, and look who we have, Uncle Thomas! Hi, Islanders, and we got a whoopee. Oh, yeah, we know that from a while back. Whoopee's so, got a butt. Yeah, we don't need to do that, Uncle Thomas, obviously. But obviously, Uncle Thomas, we've seen your recent videos. You have been swearing in the live stream again. And you said you weren't going to do yeah, that. I yeah, I do that all the time. It's fine. You're religious, Uncle Thomas. Why do you have to have cussing in your live streams all the time when you said you weren't going to anymore? I know, but it just seems my videos seem like they're boring if I don't juice it up a little bit. But Uncle Thomas, you do realize that eventually at one point or another, they're going to be, some parts of that video is going to be an island life. And then I have to censor it all the time and keep saying, what's your language? What's your language all the time? So you think I should stop swearing in my videos? Do you islanders think so too? Well, the island, the comments are disabled, Uncle Thomas. I have obviously had to disable them. Because they're saying nasty, nasty bullying stuff in there. That's why I've disabled comments, Islanders. So you can't say that stuff to me anymore. But yeah, I, I think I think to save editing time, yeah, I think you should. But but if but if but if it's part of your everyday video uploading thing, then uh, by be my guest by all means. But I just like to save time on editing because I because I don't normally edit videos till around like 10, 10, 11 o'clock at night, <clears throat> and I want to get the video out before midnight. Like what I said, this room is messier than a big mother, dude. Mm, yeah, I had to, Uncle Thomas, because you. We're swearing. That's why I had to say it. That's why I had. That's why I had to say. It. What's your language? And he even said, "Oh yeah." So the first thing that first thing that I'm going to show you, and he said, "Yeah." And the first thing that you're going to know is you're going to watch your language. Yeah, I watched that video. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Before Pope. Mm. <laughs> Ow, my nose. You okay? Yeah, I was trying to prop the towel, but it came back and smacked me in the nose. Oh, ouch. Well, Islanders, that's the last look you'll be getting of Uncle Thomas for this season. We will see him next season. So, until he sees you again, Islanders, from Uncle Thomas. Bye, Islanders. Okay, Islanders, it's much later on in the day, it's like 11.20 now, so we're going to be making our way down to the mainland today, and we're going into the city today, not specifically Boondool and North Gate. They're um, going to be our destinations today. Of course, Jetty, still a still in the good there. show you islands a little further down here they've done a bit more work on the on the uh, jetties now the terminals more work has been done on the terminals and I reveal to you islanders today the work that's been done on the terminal there it is islanders more work been made. Hey Islanders, we have 
made it to Redland Bay. You want me to say that? Okay, Islanders. We are here at Northgate. So let's make our way to that, um, that motel now. Just gonna put my umbrella under my arm like that, and let's keep going. about you Islanders but I am so hyped up to go all the way over to Boondle for this really special show. I am so, so ready. And so hyped up to see this, to see this a once in a lifetime chance, Islanders, that I'm going to get to do this. There it is, right over there, Island. It's just past the BP station. That is where, that is where I am going. That's the motel I'm staying at for tonight. Look at the un look at the ridiculous prices up there. Doro 86.9 for E10, 200 211.9 for Ultimate 98, and 100 and 199 uh, $2 for Ultimate Diesel. Are you serious? Why so high? Why so high? 
Okay, come on. We don't have all day. Finally. Let's keep going. Let's go around this, across the road, we go. Okay, here we go. Alright, Island as well. I will see you later. Okay, well, as we are going to make our way down to the state, um, to the station now, to Northgate Station, because we're going to head all the way to Boondall now. I've got my ticket ready. I've got everything I need for this lovely night over to the area of the place. Uh, yep. So I'm just waiting for the, uh, for the traffic to pass and we can cross um, the road. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait right here. And I'll wait until it's uh, green. Okay, Islanders. Now, I'm going to go to the station. So here we go Islanders, we are going to make our way down to that station right now. Since we actually know how to get back there, this means that it will be totally easy for me to make my way back to the hotel um, right after the concert is over. Since it doesn't since since it doesn't take really long to get there. It doesn't really take long. Okay, let's go. Down here. So thank goodness that it doesn't really take long to go back to the um, the hotel from here. From Northgate Station. So I'm gonna obviously do the reverse mirror on the way back. And finally. After it finally coming to me 14 years later. Was it 14? Yeah, no. 14, 12. I, don't know, I think it was around about 2008, 2009. So it's, it's about, yeah, I'm going to roughly say about 14 years. So after 14 years, it came true. After 14 years, I'm finally going to be seeing the group that I so wanted to see all this time. 
I've seen it on TV, I've seen them on video, but never live in person. It's quite an honour, actually, to, to go there. I had never, never gone to see them before. This is the first time for me, so... And probably the only time too. Because <clears throat> I have a feeling that this could be the last time that they could ever be performing live together. So yeah, it's been 14 years in the making, Islanders. And I will, and I can, and I will wait no more. Because today is the day. Today is the day. I've been waiting 14 years for this. And I'm finally, finally going to see it. I am so happy to finally do this. Alright, Islanders. We are approaching the train station now. And because we are now approaching the train station, I have to unfortunately end it for you, so I'll see you Islanders later. Okay, Islanders, we are back at Boondal again. But it's not for a but it's not for a hot call live show, it's for another show. A show. I've been waiting 14 years for this. And it's finally gonna happen. It's finally going to happen. So, let's see what goes on here. Well, Islanders, this is where it ends for you, but it starts for me. Bye, Islanders. See you after the show. Okay, Islanders, now that we've gone out of the exhibit, like, what is it, the Brisbane Entertainment Centre right there, we're heading back to my hotel. Luckily, I remember the route. So the amnesia hasn't fully hit me all the time just yet. I'll see you later. Okay, Islanders, we are back at Northgate Station. And we are disembarking Sorry. here and heading back to our hotel. Um, I can take this face shield off now because I'm not going to be needing it to head back to the hotel. We are outside and don't need to wear a face shield out outdoors, so hope those days are over. I hope. But we are heading back, Islanders, and this is going to be it. Next week, we have one last battle. One last event to go. And then it's out, and then it's over. And then it's game over from now. <laughs> so from there, it's going to be bittersweet. Because next week, it's the last time that we're going to do this. The last time. And yes, Islanders, I'm going to have, I'm going to upload the pictures that I do have on here and um, I'm gonna upload them to my to my private personal vault gonna, I've got a personal private um, storage vault up on Google that's where they're going up there so I can preserve them preserve them now I'm gonna make my way back to the hotel and now let's go Islanders we're going back to the hotel right now I've got everything I need it 
train. Annoying. Annoying train. Now I'm going to head back now and we will be we will be back to the hotel. Well, the streets seem pretty quiet at night. It's not like New York City where the city... It's not like New York where the city never sleeps. It's very quiet around here. In fact, it's a bit too quiet. Spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. But it's still... It's still too quiet out here. Oh well. I'm quite happy with how quiet it is around here. And we're coming up to a busy intersection now. So we will unfortunately have to take things easy from here. And we won't make the uh, this set of traffic lights, but we'll make the next set. We will definitely make that next set. As soon as I'm inside the hotel room, gotta start editing this episode. Get it out. Get it out on YouTube. Yep, we made the we made these we made these traffic lights, okay. We made it to these. We can go. I've made it back to my hotel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of Island Life. Leave a like and subscribe and I will see you Islanders on the 1st of May tomorrow. We're up for a new season. Bye! Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.